Is Chris Christie tilting to the right as he positions himself for a possible run for president? Last night on his monthly radio call-in show, he backed away from the DREAM Act, at least from the version that passed the state Senate last week. Three weeks before Election Day, Christie had switched a long-held position and come out in favor of granting in-state tuition to the children of undocumented immigrants. What I've been opposed to is making that choice when there are other choices that we needed to make in the budget. But not last night. I want tuition equality for folks, but I don't want a program that's richer than the federal program and richer than other states, which could make us become a magnet state for people. Senate President Steve Sweeney quickly issued a statement saying the governor never misses an opportunity to disappoint. When he was running for governor, he supported it, and now that he's running for president, he's against it. Christie is also taking heat from National Democrats for a fundraising trip next week for Oklahoma Governor Mary Fallon, who won't let same-sex couples in her state's National Guard apply for benefits in state-run buildings. It's a very, very narrow uh, path that he's got to follow. Rutgers professor Ross Baker, an expert on national politics, says Christie is very agile when it comes to the social issues. He, again, uh, you know, kind of on paper, uh, as far as these issues that are dear to the hearts of social conservatives, looks acceptable. Uh, he's very good at waltzing around the most controversial aspects of them, either by bluster uh, or by subtlety of expression. He doesn't think Christie is tacking to the right. I don't see that. I, I really do think that he feels that he is conservative enough. On a day when a nor'easter could be barreling down on the state, Christie went on vacation with his family to an undisclosed beach location out of state. Because I'm going to be on the beach. Nice. Well, enjoy your time away. Come I back will. tanned. I will. You know that. So. With the distractions of running for higher office and as the new chairman of the Republican Governors Association, Christie will be traveling a lot, Baker says, but will strike a balance. He will, you know, be back in the state enough, you know, obviously not to put himself in the position of being an absentee governor. I'm Michael Aaron, NJTV News.